Hey book friends, this is a vlog of me reading two dino smut books. It's Erotic Excavations and Dino Stud. Sorry about the background noise. We're at a hotel. My husband is listening to music in the hot tub. So, this was interesting and I may do more in the future, but enjoy! For my first dinosaur smut book, I am reading Erotic Excavations. <laughs> I started it, I'm not that much into it, like 4%. The writing is fine so far. Uh, oh, it also says Crustaceous Kink series. I don't know if there's other books out yet or the like they're in the process but we'll see how this goes just checking in on a I don't even remember what it's called but the excavation is it erotic excavations okay so the main character girl she's like a zoning type person and she's going to this town not knowing that they are actual dinosaurs so she thinks her boss is playing a big joke on her and she shows up to I think it's a college and the professor is Tybalt Rex so he's a T-Rex a real T-Rex so you're getting a dual perspective of hers and his and he pretty much talks like a regular human man and is suddenly automatically attracted to this woman when she's coming in to bitch about some zoning crap. I'm not sure on this just yet. I don't know what I went in expecting, but I'll check in again later. <laughs> okay, so I am about 20-ish percent into exotic Ex or erotic excavations and so this town is apparently a town of dinosaurs that wear amulets that hide that they are dinosaurs so if they have an amulet on they cannot be seen in their true form by humans but this woman that is the permitting or zoning whatever she comes to this town not knowing and she can see whatever the magic in the amulet is, it doesn't work for her because she's able to see all these dinosaurs and she thinks that this is a big joke. Like, what is this town doing wearing masks and they're so realistic looking. So now I'm on like chapter three, I think, and there's another character who is a triceratops and I don't know if this is like the name of the chapter or it's describing the character. His name is Casey and it says Tricera Bottom. So that's funny. Um, and apparently this museum has a display that is basically like a big dinosaur orgy, but it only happens every so often and it's at nighttime. Um, and the display is called Erotic Excavation. So, she's there to tell them to get their act together, and that's all I'm at right now. I'll check in probably when I finish. So, I realized that I lost my wrap-up on Erotic Excavation somehow, uh, but I gave it two stars. It was very dirty which that's what you expect for these books. Not much storyline to it. Uh, there, I learned about something called nodding, which I did not know about. Um, and you get a threesome with two dinosaurs and a woman. Hello, so I'm starting the second book for this. And I am reading Dino Stud by Lola Faust. 
Uh, looks like this is like her thing is this dino smut, dino erotica. But this one comes out, I think it just is a new release, but I got it on NetGalley. So this says dinosaurs are her life, but will they be the end of her? Aspiring paleontologist Tallulah Cole thought she'd won the lottery with a summer job at the Dino Ranch, the most advanced dinosaur research facility in the West, with its brilliant and gorgeous chief scientist, Reed Canmore. But the ranch holds secrets in its forested acres and pristine laboratories. Is it love that's awakening or something much different or something much darker? This says it's the newest novel in the dinosaur erotica line, also including Wet Hot Allosaurus Summer, Triceratops and Bottoms, Trice Tyrannosaurus Sext, and How Stego Got His Groove Back. So this one got 3.6, 3.06 on Goodreads. The other ones are not rated very well at all. Um, but oh, Mile High Pterodactyl Club is also one of these books. So I will check in after I've read a little bit more. The kids are off from school and my husband and I are going to be going on a trip tomorrow. We're going to Pennsylvania for a couple days. I'm hoping to get this done because I kind of want to do something different for the weekend, but I'll check in once I've read some of this dino smut. Hello, book people! I am about 40% into Dino Stud, and it's actually not too bad. So the main character's name is Tolula, and she is a paleontologist I think she's a student, like a PhD student or so, something like that. And there is this Dino Ranch. Um, it's not the first one ever, but the dinosaurs are raised like free range, more or less. Like they keep the carnivores and omnivores separate from the herbivores for safety reasons. Or no, yeah. And their safety, obviously. But nobody really knows much about this ranch she knows it exists. She knows the general location. So she shows up to this town asking about it. And people are like, why are you asking about this dino ranch? It's not safe. I wouldn't bother, blah, blah, blah. But she knows that that's what she wants to do. She doesn't care what people think. She is on the way to the ranch. And they kind of, I don't know what they do with her, run her off the road, whatever. But she wakes up and she's in on the ranch. And more or less talks herself into getting a summer job. They're very secretive. And she's got this hot boss named Reed, I think is his name. And of course, immediately she is hot and horny for him. 40% uh, in, we still don't have any smutty scenes yet. Like the other book was super, 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 super sexual, like from the get go. This one, there's a little more story to it. So she's on the ranch. She's getting a tour of the ranch now. They took her phone from her because everything is super secretive. Um, there is some non-binary rep in here, so that's cool. But, yeah. I am 58% in now on Dino Stud and no smut still. So this is considered a slow burn, I suppose. Uh, they're having some dinner party for the girl that's new at the, at Reed's house, but it's not just them. It's everybody that works at the ranch, which is only like five people total and not very smutty for dino smut, but it's not bad. It's not as bad as the other book was, um, I do. It kind of is bothering me. Like, she is obs not obsessed, but like, every thought she has, oh, well, I would pay for a massage with those hands and like those one liners that I guess, well, I don't know what I expected, but I'm thinking things are going to pick up soon. I'm almost 60% in. So I'll check in when I'm done. 
Good morning. I finished Dino Stud last night. Um, there's not... It's very instant love. Um, and you find out, like, the secret about Reed, which I kind of had a feeling that it was going in that direction. Um, not a lot of smut, just the one scene which I was surprised because of the other books that this author has also written, I've heard are kind of filthy and this not so much. Um, I would say this would be a slow burn because nothing really happened till 80%. And then it was just the one scene, but I'm giving it three stars. It was entertaining enough to finish. Um, I, it's much more tame than exotic, or no, erotic excavations. Um, I may do this again with like different types of monstery things, but we'll see. Well, like, comment, subscribe to my little channel and help me grow, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!